mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on this 12th day of May, 2009. It is a Tuesday. We're going to be live here for the next four hours, and I have swept the decks clean. No guests today because I want to have wide open phones for the full four hours. There is a lot to talk about. There are a host of vitally important news stories that I want to go over. The mainstream media has now picked up. On the article that Kurt Nemo did uh, back on Saturday, dealing with a new bill introduced that states if you're on the violent radicalization list, uh, that the attorney general will be able to ban you owning firearms without a conviction, without an arrest, without an indictment, and without any evidence. Now, remember, they have a separate bill introduced where the attorney general can ban any firearm type he wishes. It just gives him imperial godlike power. And also, uh, they're saying that they have a new bill introduced where if you hurt someone's feelings, the feds decide if it's hurt someone's feelings. It actually says hurt their feelings. And that you will be indicted federally for your free speech. I mean, we need some master article written by Kurt Nemo or Paul Watson or Steve Watson or Aaron Dykes or one of our people that just goes through all of the insanity that's going on, because any one of these issues is earth-shaking tyranny, just red flag, rogue government, totally criminal, totally illegitimate. But when you put them all next to each other, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things that are going on, it is just mind-blowing that all of this is actually going on and happening. Now, remember White House Chief of Staff. In fact, guys, cue that up. It's actually in um, the Obama deception. The Obama deception is like a chronicle of their entire agenda and what they're going to do. And, you know, this thing was literally just released two months ago, a month and a half ago, and people are seeing it going, this thing is, is like totally up to date and pertinent because they have expanded the agenda we expose in the film. So it's people who watch it say it's like watching the nightly news, but with analysis because we say this is what they're going to do, and now they've done everything we said they would do. I mean, it's just devastating. Because people go, wait a minute, they just laid out this whole plan. People kept saying, how are you criticizing him? He's only been in office a month when you released this film. We know all his advisors. We know what he said his policies would be. We had all the statements, and we had this film. We were working on this film to, you know, until a week or so before it was released. And so it has just all the latest up-to-date stuff. I don't know, I'm already going off uh, ranting about it. It's just they are moving against the republic. They are engaged in high treason at every level. The republicans are just as much involved as the democrats. And uh, the enemy is coming in like a flood against the republic right now. But, but you know, Kurt Nimmo wrote a great story about this uh, when he was sent the bill by a listener. You know, where the folks that are linking to the bill, that where they say if you make somebody uh, feel bad, hurt their feelings, you're going to be federally charged with a felony and then it gets picked up by all the rest of the media that's the power of this show is the listeners who are activists it's a huge audience and you're active and so we can push into kind of the libertarian or right wing or liberal media uh and then into the mainstream media anything we want now and that is what's exciting we're kind of like the front line watchdogs here ladies and gentlemen yipping and yapping and then waking up some of the bigger dogs and uh, it's just amazing to see all of this going on. But ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the establishment is moving like never before seen against all of our freedoms. And it's all coming up today. Also, new torture photos being released by Obama. What's really behind that? A gag order uh, on any brass in the military speaking to Congress. That is totally unconstitutional. Violation of the uh, separation of powers. Scientists want to have vaccine corn to force you to take the flu shot. It's all coming up.
We at Life Change T would like to set the record straight. Yes, there is a swine flu, but unfortunately, the mass media is overstating and embellishing the facts. There are less than 300 deaths worldwide, and this is not a number for pandemic. Will Life Change T help you? Yes, but please realize fear causes panic. Remember, no fear. Get smart, get healthy, get the tea. You can order online at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Or call us at 928-308-0408. Again, 928-308-0408. Get the facts, get prepared, get the tea. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultures who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascist. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of The Obama Deception today at Infowars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. The world appears to be on the brink of collapse. Experts say a pinch of heirloom vegetable seed could soon be the most valuable resource on Earth because it will provide healthy food now and every year after. SurvivalistSeeds.com now has the heirloom garden seed time capsule, allowing you to store your seeds for the future anywhere, even underground, for 100 years. The heirloom garden seed time capsule can withstand three tons of weight, is 100% rodent proof, waterproof, and comes with a whopping 6,000 healthy vegetable seeds from 20 varieties that will grow anywhere in the USA, unless you trust the government. The Heirloom Garden Seed Time Capsule and Heirloom Seeds from SurvivalistSeeds.com is your long-term food solution. Our competition charges $0.10 cents to $1.25 per seed for these same heirloom varieties. But you can now have a head of lettuce, a bundle of carrots, a basket of tomatoes, a giant watermelon, and 16 other varieties for about a penny a seed each. Be prepared. Buy your Heirloom Seeds today from SurvivalistSeeds.com and have food insurance for your family forever. Visit SurvivalistSeeds.com. SurvivalistSeeds.com is owned by Big John Lipscomb, host of the Don't Tread on Me radio show. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. But things are fluid here and change. Uh, Joyce Riley, a long-time Genesis host uh, here on the network, she um, had a lady call into her show with the police raiding her house, even though she owned the property. And, and then it would happen right as Joyce was going off the air. So Joyce stayed on the line with the network, she's in um, outside of Versailles, Missouri, but the network's in Minnesota. So the lady stayed on the line at Genesis as the police kicked down the door, as they came in, and as they hung up the phone. And I'm told this is a pretty uh, shocking audio. It has never before been heard. And when I I get ready at home, and I show up about 20 minutes before airtime, uh, generally here, and when I came in, they ran up to me, the producer said, we've been trying to call you. This whole thing happened about 40 minutes ago. And I just said, get me more facts, get me more details. So we're going to do that either at the bottom of the hour, next hour, only so I can talk to Joyce and find out, or talk to John, because some of this was on air, and find out what's going on uh, so that uh, I can uh, assess.